Anal, 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 anal. <laughs> Did I get your attention? Good. Let's talk about anal. In 2015, Vogue declared butt sex is officially on trend. The gays have always done it, straight people are now doing it apparently, and sexual people who don't live within the gay straight binary, they're probably doing it. Everyone's doing anal. Except asexual individuals. Let's not be like the rest of society and forget about them. Anyways, as all of these articles discuss the newfound appreciation for backdoor entry, they don't really discuss tidying up the back porch if you know what I mean. Anal sex is essentially penetration of the part of your body that poops. And we have to talk about bum cleanliness if we're gonna talk about being confident while having bum fun. Let me be clear, we are not talking about you being clean for the other person. We are talking about you being clean so you and your ass, literally, can be confident and feel sexy as hell. But of course, before we talk about anything, protection, protection, protection. There are buttloads of sexually transmitted situations that you can get if you don't use protection, so make sure that pole is protected before sitting on it. Too much? I mean, we're talking about anal. Anyways, cleanliness is very important if you want to avoid an accident. Just make sure your butt is sparkly clean before taking that pee or some other object. Washing with it a day after you do your do not only prevents anal infections, but it also leaves you more clean than any other post-poo routine, like just wiping. Also, just imagine you're there taking off your cute underwear before your bae goes in for the thrill, and your sexy grin turns into a brown frown. Don't skid yourself. Skip marks could happen to you. Also, using unsustainable toilet paper, especially that flaky shit, can lead to confetti. And I am not talking about confetti cannons during your jam at the club. Little bits of TP can get stuck on your booty, and although everyone loves a little bit of decoration, this confetti does not equal confidence. Another part of bending over that's actually really harmful is people barely eating because they're afraid that in and out Burger will show up when their partner is going in and out This is not healthy, and you should never be changing your eating habits for someone else. Accidents, even during anal sex, really can happen. And if your partner is not understanding of that, then they deserve that shit. And you should probably throw them out like an In-N-Out Burger wrapper. Anyways, there are so many more things to talk about when discussing anal sex. So if you have a comment or have a question, we might make more videos like this. Leave a comment down below. And of course, if you're feeling a little cheeky, then like us on Facebook and go to hellotwitchy.com to find out how you can experience booty bliss. Deuces.